we have a setup where we are going to heat up water to 110 degrees Celsius and we are going to place a piece of metal iron in this beaker of hot water. Metal has a specific heat of 0 0.454 joules per grams degrees Celsius. Once the metal reaches 110 degrees Celsius, we're going to transfer it over here to this cool water bath of 200 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius. And we want to know what will the final thermal equilibrium temperature be. As the heat from the metal flows into the cool water, water's temperature will rise, the metal's temperature will cool, and what will the final equilibrium temperature be? So what we're going to do is first we're going to create a data table of the information. So the metal, which is 10 grams, has a final temperature that we're looking for, a starting temperature of 110 degrees Celsius, and a specific heat, Cp, of 0.454. Water is 200 grams. The final temperature will be the same as the final temperature of the metal. That is what we are looking for and a 20 degrees Celsius starting temperature and the temperature for water at 20 degrees Celsius will give us a CP of 4.18 joules per grams degrees Celsius. Our equation for this will be negative Q for the metal, quantity of heat lost by the metal will be equal to the positive Q of the water, the amount of heat gained by the water. Q can be found by taking the mass times the final temperature minus the initial temperature times the specific heat. This side is negative because the metal will be losing heat. The water side is mass times the quantity of temperature final minus temperature initial times the CP. When we plug in the values we get negative bracket 10 grams times TF minus 110 degrees Celsius close the parentheses times 0.454 joules per gram degrees Celsius equals 200 grams times TF minus 20 times 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius. As we calculate this out, we get a value of 4.54 times TF. That is negative because of the negative outside the bracket, plus 499.4 because the negative outside the bracket times the negative inside the parentheses gives us a positive. And on the other side, we get values of 836 TF minus 16,720. Combining like terms, 499.4 plus 16,720 equals 836 TF plus 4.54 TF. This gives us values of 17,219.4 equals 840.54 TF. Dividing by 840.54 on both sides to isolate TF, we get a final temperature of the equilibrium to be 20.49 degrees Celsius.